Now that's what it's all about. Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from BoyOnABoat.com and this is another random boat life blog update. And well, I thought this would be a nice introduction to the video before I go and do my usual sitting inside talking at you for about 10 minutes. And well, here's a moment of boat life for you. So I'm out here, incredibly busy, trying to cut all the long pieces of wood up and obviously chop some of the bigger logs with the axe. Obviously got me little uh, Bushman saw there. And well, how good is this? Just being out here, you've got the chimney smoking with the wood that's already on it. And well, the smell of being in wood. This is your scenery and like I say, some good old fashioned physical labour. But you can see I've got an awful lot uh, piling up here, so life's all good. Well, the wood's been cut, I've had me tea and I've had my usual stroll along the towpath. I've been listening to podcasts for a while and almost forgot to record the rest of this video. Uh, as you may or may not be able to hear, it is dreadful weather out there. But here's just a random moment I'd like to share with you. This is when I try and say about the general cosiness of boat life. I mean, obviously I don't normally have the light on when I'm listening to podcasts and just have some candles burning. But there's just something that I absolutely love about this. I mean, how good is this? Just nice candles going, listening to me beloved podcasts, and you may be able to hear the occasional crackle of a bit of wood on the fire. And, yeah, when I talk about the sort of cosiness of boat life and, I don't know, the sort of traditional idealist uh, vision of what it's meant to be like, this is exactly what I uh, envision and absolutely love about it. So I just wanted to share that with you for a moment. So let's have the light so you've got a, a sporting chance of being able to see me. Well, hopefully the camera's in a nice position there so you can actually see me. Um, yeah, so it's still a big thumbs up from me on Boat Life as you've just seen a demonstration of. I hope the rain isn't too loud at this moment. Um, so then, what's been going on? Well, there's a couple of things I want to talk about in this little update. I'll be very brief because I've already spent probably two or three minutes of your life with those random clips uh, up to this point. Um, first things first, there was a dramatic moment a couple of weeks ago when I was sat here and I thought, hmm, these lights are a little bit dim and on closer inspection found that half of the bulbs had gone out which was a sign that the leisure batteries that basically run the electronics on the inside of the boat were running low on power so what I did was quickly hop out onto the back stick the engine on in neutral and that instantly sent everything back into life and then I ran the engine for about 15-20 minutes which in turn then meant that there was enough charge in the batteries to last the next couple of nights um, and since then I've done a big two hour trip which once again while well, the engine's running for that amount of time has really put a lot of energy back into the batteries and everything's been fine ever since but obviously because now we're in these dark nights it's meant that the lights are on for a lot longer and far more often so as I do my sort of general hardly any travelling basically and I never really put the engine on in neutral to charge anything up or to run the radiator because I'm all about the fire um, anyway um, because of that I'd obviously been using more electricity than was being replaced so that's something that I'll keep an eye on and keep you posted. I've done a few um, calculations which is basically guesswork based on my very few months experience with the engine and the batteries but I'd say probably from a full charge uh, this time of year I've probably got I would say still over a month um, between needing to run the engine to charge the batteries with standard usage of the lights and bits and pieces like the water pump and stuff so it'll be interesting to see how that goes but like I say it's just something that you have to do I mean, hop out run the engine for a few minutes here and there no problem um, the next thing is I suppose also somehow tied in with the idea of efficiency 
um, I've been experimenting with different fuels to go on the fire and that's different um, sized coal and some random little uh, compacted wood shavings and things like that and something that I have been doing over the last few days I'd say probably the last four or five nights I've been trying to only burn wood that I've personally collected, cut and then put in the fire myself and well because basically it's all free and I find that during the daytime I can keep the fire going no problem and it's nice and toasty in here and it's just well, the usual fantastic coziness and all the rest of it but when it gets to the um, late night stage obviously I'm not going to be waking up every hour to put more wood on the fire so I've been trying to stack it up with a load of wood to try and get it to burn as long into the night and possibly to the morning as it possibly can and unfortunately I haven't had any success at waking up to find a burning fire or smouldering ashes so you can imagine that's led to a few very cold mornings on board so what I'm going to do there is uh, well, probably now my new system where we burn wood throughout the day because it's all free um, and then as I have been doing as a standard practice the last thing I do before I go to bed at night just pile on a bit of coal go to bed wake up the next morning the fire's still piping hot a lot of the time chuck in a bit more wood a bit more coal depending and hopefully it will spring back into life but um, I find that the coal overnight has been an excellent way to keep it warm for when you wake up so that's um, another thing that's of various degrees of interest to you I'm sure uh, the next thing on the list is my apologies here I've had to interrupt my own video to try and stoke the fire back up to a bit more life as I noticed it had gone exceptionally dim just then so um, I will I think save my next bit of news for another week or two's time so I'll just end the video here by saying until the next time I speak to you whether that's a day a week or two weeks just yeah have a good time have fun make sure you check out boyontheboat.com for a load more narrowboat stuff make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel if you haven't already and i'll see you around soon farewell